this cat girl is always getting me so pumped up. Hey, oh, man. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Doc. How's it going? I'm not in a great mood. Tell me about it. I bit my tongue a couple days ago. Ooh. Fucking hurts. And I'm going to go see the Joker with you. So I feel like I'm in the right mood. The Joaquin Phoenix psycho crazy mood. It's going to be great. I'm a little hungry, but I'm not going to eat. No. How you doing? Nachos? Pizza? No. No nachos. Several beers? No. We had a pitcher of beer. Maybe one? No. Are you going to have a beer? I'll think about it. We had a pitcher of beer. Well, we're going to the Orion. Jump oh, back, shit! Jump back into this, but someone... someone barfed <laughs> all over the place! It's true, they're like, don't go near the garbage can, there's puke everywhere. It's approximately 5.30. It's 7.30. It's 7.30. Hell yeah. I got Sticks, I got America, and I got Charlotte. Charlotte, what do you think about going to the movie tonight? Think I'll let you in? I'm gonna level with you. The last video I had was shit lighting. This is, it's great right now. It's a lot better. We're, we're seeing the Joker. It's, it's week three since it's been out. Yeah, it's been out a little, a little bit of time now. I, th I still think it'll be busy. Um, pretty small theater. Right. At the Orion. Um, it's comfy theater. Sure would. Love and light. Do, do you think this will be rewatchable? Do you think this is going to make you think for a couple days? Nope. I'm, I don't think it's going to be funny. No. I think it'll be a good film. I don't know what I'm expecting going in, like... Right. Like, w like what do you want to compare it to? What, what kind of movies would you compare it to, like, without knowing it much about it? I know. I think I would compare it to maybe, like, it's a total drama, total thriller, total, like, independent feel. Kind of like a Scorsese-type film? Yeah. I mean, I it here. just happens to be around the Joker, so... Okay. I'm excited. Course, that's why we're going. We don't go to a movie unless we're excited. The last one was Endgame. I hate going to the movie theater. Yeah, yeah. And I do want to see this movie. Um, not looking forward to going to the theater though. People. The worst. Hey, beware the glare. Beware the glare. Is it weird that there's there's music playing but there's no like slideshow going on right now? Like, I'm not like so this. Let me put it like this. Almost zero. Are you filming? Yeah. Let me preface this by saying we had a pitcher of beer. And they charged us for one pint. That's a good fucking start. Almost zero rewatchability for me. There yeah, is, I thought about that. There is almost no story in this movie. All, all origin. Almost no story. Like, it's just, here's the thing that happened, and then here's the thing that happened. You're like, not that it's bad, but... It was raw. Yeah, you're like, okay, so what's the story? There is no story. There is, there's very little story. What am I getting at? Does there have to always be a story? There's a ton of substance, though. Here's some substance. This is my favorite building in the whole fucking city. This is yeah, nice. come on. Yeah, how they like this. Stuff. I love that. I love it. There's a lot of substance to it, though, which is good. Layers. Yeah. It's an onion. Uh, you want to talk for a bit? Let's get some better lighting here, right? Okay. Okay, we haven't been talking about the movie that much, but... Um, Two block walk to the car. Let me ask you, what did you think of Joker? I had about... Uh, 11 out of 10? I had 10 boners going on in my brain, and I ejaculated 12 times. <laughs> That's how much I fucking love this movie. You liked it, okay. So it's a, it's a... I guess I'm getting ahead of myself here, but it's a buy, like day one buy. You're going to go to the store and pick this up when it comes out? Depends on how cool the steel book looks. That's important. Cover's important. The slip's important. I know we Man. haven't done this in a while, but we still know how to do it. Um, you fucking ain't right we do. I know I was talking about this already, but uh, camera was off, so I'm going to say it while the camera's on. This movie had almost no story. There is a story, but the story could be told in like 20 minutes. And what, what it's 1042, so the movie's like 2 hours, 20 minute runtime, something like that. Wow. Um, but for a movie with almost no story, or very, very basic story ton of substance ton of ton of character work especially i mean the movie's called joker they follow joaquin phoenix for two hours and 20 minutes i don't think there's a scene that he's not in right yeah um i mean you had one side where he was no makeup on and and mm -hmm. like that was the joker right and then you had the scenes where he had makeup on 
I mean, it's like you got two sides to them, basically, mm-hmm. and they fucking rocked. They rocked my titties. So what do you think this movie was about? Like, it, or, had, it had a lot yeah. of statements to make, right? Like, it was a movie about... Mental, mental health. Mental health. Mental health, man. Um, Yeah, about, like... It was a big, like, middle finger to rich people, kind of. Yeah. About how they just don't care about... Yeah, there were some themes for sure. I mean... Or maybe that just that they don't understand, like, what regular life is like. Um, maybe not even that they don't care about what regular life is like. I mean, that's how Joker felt in the movie, is that they didn't care about him, but... Yeah. Maybe they just don't understand they didn't, either. They didn't see him. They didn't notice him. Right. God, it was good, man. It I was, don't want to just say it was good. It was a good flick. Uh, but it was I, good. Without spoiling anything, I did love the callback. Fuck. Like, it seemed like there was some visual callbacks at the end of the movie to... Uh, the Dark Knight? Yep. Yeah. When you he got that too when he was riding the cop car? Yeah, it was, it was awesome. And I couldn't help but feel like... like uh, I, I'm going to need to watch like Tim Burton Batman again. But the scene near the very end, the camera angle in the alleyway... I'm not going to say anything else about it, but there's a camera angle in an alleyway. They just felt very like original Tim Burton Batman to me. It paid homage. Yeah. I think this film, what was great about it, while we're talking about it... Because we'll think of a million things. Yeah past this five minutes like we're just we're sitting in the car the, the movie theater is over there like we just walked over in the there. car so we haven't like had much time to gather our thoughts here we said raw a lot on the way to the car <laughs> raw oh. um but yeah it had some good themes mental health man that's real serious so if you're having a hard time talk to a friend or find someone to Absolutely. talk to do you need to talk to anybody no my mustache is concerning me like <laughs> I haven't shaved in a while. That's what you look like. And I haven't looked at myself in a while either. Yeah, how's the glare coming off my dome here? Like, should I set back a little bit? Am I too close? Oh, my God. Um, anyway. You talk about rewatchability. I thought about that. Like, you're not going to really need to watch this a million times. Yeah, because that's a big thing. Like, especially in movies like this that feel like like you love the movie, but are you really going to watch it all the time? Those Hot Topic kids are. They're going to watch the shit out of this yeah, film, right? Yeah, yeah. We talked earlier, I thought this was cool to point out, I think this movie is so popular because everyone has a boner over the Joker, rightfully so, and Heath Ledger put it on the map, but mad respect to Jack Nicholson and all you old old nerds out there, that guy from the original Batman series with Adam West, I don't even know his name, it's like Freddy or... Like you could you see his face. He's a like, Spaniard? Uh, <laughs> now I'm racist. <laughs> he's a Spaniard. Like, he did the makeup over his mustache, that's how like... Oh, he flexed boy. on that stash, but not, not even gonna mention Jared Leto. Well, that's the thing is Jared Leto was a big ripoff. Um, anyway, <laughs> we're in a parking lot filming, and there's people walking around in front dude, of us. Like, guy, what are these idiots doing? Dude, that guy got down with the Magic Card <laughs> Tournament. At Ron's going to book like, shit. That's my neighbor. I know. I know him slash her. I, I love Yakima. We all know everybody. Let's go home. But hey, uh, go see this movie. Yeah, see Joker. Give it a whirl. You'll you'll like it. Talk there to was, a friend. There was somebody walking out of the theater. I don't mean to like jump. Oh back, shit! Jump back into this, but someone, someone barfed <laughs> all over the place. That's true. They're like, don't go near the garbage can. There's puke everywhere. Uh, it anyway. looked like it was a spill because it didn't look like it was. It barf. did. It looked like ranch or blue cheese or By something. By the way, I took the longest piss in that bathroom. <laughs> I bet you did. Like yeah. I out pissed one guy and another guy came in that stall and then mm-hmm. he started pissing. And I was like, I'm gonna beat him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna piss as long as. Do you guy, get nervous so. about that when you're like peeing? You're peeing in a public restroom, and like someone comes up next to you, and they start pissing, and then they finish, and you're still peeing, <laughs> and you're like, Yep, still peeing. Thank you, Price.